welcome. The new codex is out. We're going to talk all about it, the best combos you can get for orcs, as well as our top five units from the book. I'm James. And I'm Ben. And I'm Scott. James. How you doing, Ben? I'm good. How are you? How are you doing, Scott? I'm doing good, mate. Nice to finally see you on uh, 40k chat. It's been a while. I know. I finally, finally made it. Good. Orcs, the new book is out. What'd you make of it, Ben? You got your, you got your box today, didn't you, for Beast Snaggers? Yeah. Got my greasy mitts all over it. <laughs> sweating my paws all over it goodness me how how is the box like as as a box does it is it one of the best ones you've bought from gw oh yeah i love the i love the box art as well and all that stuff with it so yeah i, I definitely like it like yeah i mean just quickly looking at the artwork i'm pretty sure it's mozrog isn't it on on the inside sleeve and he's fighting against Krieg. and yeah. i've not seen that full image before i thought it looked really cool yeah i never even noticed it before that he was fighting Krieg. <laughs> yeah Okay, let's get on to talking about the book. How strong do you think it is on your quick quick look at it today? Um, well, I definitely think it's made definitely made Orcs stronger, definitely by a mile. Definitely, I think all the new stuff, for sure, like the Beast Snagger stuff, looks to be, in general, the more powerful stuff. Yeah, the Beast Snaggers definitely. They've had like, the more attention, really. But still... Still, nonetheless, all the other units as well have been yeah, definitely, buffed in yeah. some way. Like, uh, but, I mean, from our from our top five list, three of them are beast snaggers, aren't they? Yeah, that's and true. And then um, our honourable honorable mentions, I mean, one of them is, but out of those eight, half of them are, are like the new stuff, the beast snagger stuff. How, how much of them are like relatively new models, though? Uh, they all, they all they're all, yeah, <laughs> apart from apart from war bikes and is the pain boss new? Yeah, the pain boss is Maybe new. That, right, uh, war bikes is the only old one, then. <laughs> so it's all quite new so, stuff. Yeah. Oh god, so it just shows you like the the newer stuff gets the gets the better end of the stick. <laughs> yeah, I I think as well across the book, the three kind of ways I think you play orcs now is mech heavy speed freaks or beast snaggers yeah and i think in the mech one you could just go like all boys and guys if you wanted to yeah the one thing that has taken a real nerf that wasn't really a thing too much anyway i, I don't think you could play a, a grot army now and have a lot of fun with it i think they don't get a lot of support that they they probably need and they they've got low models anyway grots. yeah yeah um i i think they do have a place in a kind of like you know, like a Bad Moons, boy, mech, heavy army, though. Yeah, yeah. I get that. And I like um, the new character, the new run herd in the box that benefits Grotz as well. Oh, yeah. like he, he, Yeah, what does he actually do? Um, I believe he upgrades... Here we go. Um, you can upgrade one Gretchen core unit from the army uh, to be super runs, and it basically just improves their shooting. Well, in fact, it adds one to their attack hits ro attacks hit rolls. That means they get plus one to hit in melee and and shooting. Shoot. Do they already hit on fours? So they go to yeah. threes. Plus, they can also shoot while performing actions. Ooh, that's quite. So nice. if you had, like, you you definitely just take a max grots, uh, Gretchen squat for that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's quite good. He's not half bad on his own either, really. The guy is he? Can he hold his own in combat? I'd say he could. He's tough. Well, he's tough as five, six wounds. Yeah. So he's got a six plus save, which is standard for him. He's got an invulnerable. Uh, no, I don't think no. he does. No, but he's got a, got a decent melee weapon. Damage two, minus three AP. Yeah. Damage two seems to be like the norm now for orcs, which is about time, really. <laughs> yeah. We spent a lot of time talking about the clans last time out. Yeah. So we're not going to get into them too much in detail. But what we can see now is some of the unique stratagems that the clans get. 
And we're also just going to quickly, I'm going to ask you what your favorite clan is in terms of rules. What, what's your favorite at the moment, Ben, from what you've seen? Oh, well, my, mine, regardless of the others, is always Goths because <laughs> just because you can, it benefits Gars. Goths seem the most powerful. Yeah. Like the, how, what you can do to especially affect Beast Snagger boys and boys as well. But Beast Snagger boys with Goths seem amazing. I mean, I saw. I saw something recently on Reddit that said that 10 of them with a 2CP strat can take out Gulliman in one turn. Wow. So, like, and the amount of the amount of attacks they get, the, they'll be strength, quite easy to get them to be strength six. It's quite easy to for them to be, have exploding sixes as well. Like, yeah. it's just, they're insane. Yeah. But, oh, my God, I didn't realise that. But um, as well, we've got... There was something else with them that I just realised about them. Oh, you know, like the specialist traits, you can like, if, if you take one unit that doesn't benefit from your clan, you can just like make it yeah. a specialist mob, providing obviously it's, and benefits from something else instead. And then like Burner Boys, for example. Yeah. Uh, you can make them get like, I think, minimum three um, shots. That's really good. Yeah, instead of, instead of having this exploded sixes in combat. Yeah. Which is what Burner Boys would really prefer, isn't it? Really shoot extra shots. Uh, yeah, so one of my favourite clans, uh, the Freebooters, because their Kultar ability is at army wide, you get plus one to hit if they kill something in the phase. Yeah, it's pretty which, good, though. I mean, you, you're going to get that most of the time, aren't you? As long as if the, the first thing you fire, if you think the first thing I fire it has to kill something, and you just. You shoot your best shooting unit first. You shoot the best first. shooting unit first, or you do the best combat first. Just something where you guarantee it. Yeah. And then the army wide plus one. On it's it's shooting and combat, isn't it? Yeah, it's just plus, in general yeah, plus yeah. one to so hit. Whatever, whatever phase it happens in. And that is like if you're if you're lucky with that, you've got a whole a whole army that has ballistic ballistic skill four plus and weapon skill two plus. Yeah. Like that's insane. That's not half bad, to be fair. Yeah, it is obviously every clan has a weakness, and that that clan's weakness though would be like knights and stuff, low model yeah. count. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But other than that, though, yeah, like if you're shooting like if, you, if it, say if you if you fight another orc army, that'd be very powerful. You find something with a hell of a lot of troops, like necrons maybe with a lot of, yeah. a lot of troops, or a lot of single model units as well. Like, um, what's their like unit that's associated with them? It's the um, the looters. The looters. It was it the looters. I thought it was the. Flash oh no, kits. sorry, the, the flash gets. Yeah, the flash right, Yeah, yeah, the flash gets, and they've got like pretty decent shooting already. Their ballistic skill four. Yeah. So they'd benefit really well from that. Yeah, and um, their character as well is he's quite decent, isn't he? Well, yeah, he buffs flash gets, so yeah, <laughs> easily so, better yeah, that, shooting. That seems quite interesting to me. I won't. I won't say it's like one. Of, I mean, it's one of the stronger ones. It's probably it's not an one interesting of the best. One. It's just an interesting one. I find, yeah. and that's the, probably a direction I'd like to go. Yeah, it's definitely like orky. What about you, James? So one um, that I'm just looking at again. That I think it's not one I'd play, but I think if you want to play orcs in a certain way, it, it's it's quite cool now. And they were really strong uh, last edition, which was blood axes. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure they used to have minus one against ranged attacks. And obviously now they've got that kind of Raven Guard um, ability. Oh, yeah, that's like the cover, like yeah. cover in it. But I, I quite like um, just their stratagem, to be honest. The dead sneaky, where you can um, you can take an, uh, uh, an infantry unit and place it into strategic reserve. And I think for, say, like commandos, that looks really cool. That's nice. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I can see it. Um, at the end of your movement phase, if it's near the edge of a battlefield, you place it in strategic reserves. Oh, yeah. So, like, and I think with those new commando units that are coming out in the kill team yeah. box, that would be a really cool little, you know, set. If you if you want to do blood axes now, and obviously you've got the squig, uh, the, you've also got the mega track scrap jet for blood axes as well. Obviously, yeah. you can take that for any, um, clan but that was designed really for the blood axes but i think as well snake bites just look really strong yeah i think you'll see a lot of snake bite armies i think for um beast snaggers 
snake bites and goths. We've already talked about this before, but th those are the two that I would have if I was playing competitive. I'd pick one of those two clans. Yeah. Um, the awesome like the the warlord trait for snake bites is I mean is pretty good. Like means that like the guy can come back if you're lucky enough. Yeah. Shall we move on to warlord traits? Oh, warlord traits. Yeah. I think the warlord traits are amazing. I mean, and I've, I'd seen quite a bit of them with the leak, but now that they're all here, you can do so many different things. I've, not, I've not seen many of them. I've, I've, I know about the Goths one. The Goths one remains unchanged, but it's still pretty good. I always thought Orcs had good Warlord traits. I always thought if you if you took like a war boss, you could make him pretty killy and you could make him, you know, a beast before. But I think yeah. now that they just, whatever you take in this book, there's a lot of HQ options now yeah. that are kill monsters. Not just, it's not just Gaz and a war boss anymore it's, it's like you've got the beast boss um on the squig earth you've got a normal beast boss you've got a couple of characters in there yeah um and j just something we've both noticed today i wasn't sure if the beast boss would count as a war boss in the rules it says you can only take one war boss per detachment and if you look at the beast boss is uh data sheet it's got war boss in the keywords yeah so you're not going to be able to take a war boss and a beast boss in the same detachment no. so i think you might find a lot of orc players now they might want to take two patrols rather than just taking a single battalion. yeah yeah well, uh, and as well what's good is there's that stratagem in there now that lets you have another character of a warlord trait yeah so you know, which is about time because it was only space rings after for a period of time that only had that. But every yeah, army seemed... can get that now. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. but yeah, some of them are just absolutely. What do you th What do you think you would take with the? Obviously, you can only have one war boss. Then, what do you think? Like, is this new war boy worth it, or is it like the case of putting a pain boy with with your boss? What would you go for? Well, I've got Gaz, so uh, Gaz is an auto take for me. But yeah. to support him, I wouldn't take a pain. Well, I, I would. <laughs> A pain boss would be good offensive wise. It can't heal Gaz. Yeah. Because Gaz is still monster. But is a pain boss because you can now put Gaz in a transport. Yeah. Like we need to talk about that. Um, and is a pain boss not a good thing to to put with him in the transport just in case the transport blows up, you kill the pain boss because well, yeah. he's the cheapest single character model you could put with him in in well, actually the sing the um i've worked out you can take makari he's an he's an hq choice yeah and he can also not count as taking up that slot if gaz is in the army all ah, right okay so i'd have gaz with makari in the transport yeah because if you take the battle wagon without hard case or cannons yeah it can hold 20 models gaz takes up 18 models leaves yeah. you two models there's makari yeah and the other one well, i would take is a mech boy because the Met Boy's really cheap. Can he repair it from inside? Yeah. I don't know if he can repair it from inside, but it's is just it, the Met Boy's points. Is a Met Boy cheaper than a, a Pain Boss? Oh, Miles, mate. Let's see where How it is, is it? now. Uh, the Met Boy is um, 25 points. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah. How and, much is, what? what's Gaz's little grot called? Uh, Makari. Makari. How many points is he? 55. Oh, so right, a grot. Okay. A single grot is worth more than yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this mech. But the mech's worth having anyway, just in, just in case the vehicle makes it, you yeah. can just have it, repair it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I love that the fact that they've given you the option to yeah. put him in a transport. Oh, yeah. Isn't, isn't there a way to deep strike transports? I think there is, yeah. So you could... I mean, it might be overkill, but you could deep... <laughs> yeah. Extra protection for yeah, gas. Yeah, you could deep strike... Stripe Gaz in the transport. It's like, it's like double bubble wrapped. You've yeah. Got him in the transport, that's in deep strike. It's probably unnecessary. Yeah. But it's interesting that you have the option to do it. Yeah. It's the but I mean, obviously the risk as well of having Gaz in a transport is if it goes and you roll a one, you just kind of lost like a really powerful model easily. <laughs> yeah. I, I think there are a lot of second units you could take in a HQ slot if you did a battalion and. I, I think I'd go with a pain boss. I think that looks really strong. Yeah. I think Zodgrod's a decent character to take. Yeah, fight phase, select one enemy monster, two plus. Uh, can't fight till everything else has fought before it. Yeah, That's I, I like think he, he looks like a, a decent choice. I'd be good against like, Imperial Knights and stuff like that. 
Oh, it's Monster, sorry. I was just going to say, does Gaz, does Gaz fight first anyway? Don't think so, no. So if, if he's with Gaz, he's, he's going to nullify some kind of, like, u- amazing unit. Oh, that... like Glimmer and his monster. Yeah, so he Tyranids. could... He could he, Glimmer gets charges you and you... Yeah, that's true. And I you, didn't think of that. And you, you know, that's a, that's a nice little combo where you're basically letting Gaz always go first and... He's not that expensive, is he? I don't think he is. Um, so, yeah, and I think that's probably more beneficial than all the grot stuff he can do. Yeah. I mean, that, that's fun. But competitively, that ability to stop monsters is yeah, yeah. is going to really help out some your own um, like beat stick. Unit. Yeah, yeah I, I get that, actually. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, really. For me as well, I, I just really love the way you can you can build a war boss now or a beast boss. Like there's so many cool little warlord traits or stratagems you can pick, and, and even just oh, the yeah. general war boss um, with the power claw. I mean, you can give him some decent warlord traits, um, some like of the relics as well. brutal but cunning. Where each time the warlord fights, if all of its attacks target one enemy unit, after resolving all of these attacks, it can make a number of additional attacks against that enemy unit equal to the number of attacks that did not reach the inflict damage stage and of which the wow. attack sequence during this fight. So basically you fight a monster, you don't score your, your wounds and damage and you can do it again. <laughs> What's that called, that trait? That's uh, brutal but cunning. Goodness me. And even just on a regular war boss with the power claw. I mean, it's a regular war boss trait you know, as well. And you know, like a, a general regular war boss now with um, goths, it's, it's got that plus one strength. If it charges, it's... That's a strength 14 war boss with a power claw, which yeah. is doing a lot of damage. Um, that is amazing. Goss is by far the winner, isn't it? Like, the more you look at it, they've just got so much synergy, especially for combat. They've got so much going on, they're going to be so strong. Yeah. Um, and one one other kind of HQ I was I was liking, because there's a lot you can do with the relics, the war boss in mega armor you can essentially turn him into a gas be- yeah because you can give him the ability to half the amount of damage he takes and you can give him what is it an invulnerable of four plus yeah, four plus yeah so it's like and he, he he hits hard as well and if he had that trait as well like my god he's gonna be he's gonna be not only a tank he's gonna hit gonna super face. hard yeah. yeah it'd be interesting to know how much um, transport capacity he takes up if you were to put him in a battle wagon because I imagine it's not as much as Gaz. I think he just takes up two. He just takes up two. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's like everyone's talking about Gaz being and this and this whole transport way to go, but maybe well. this is better because yeah. the, the he's going to be cheaper. You, all you need to do is make sure you give him that that relic and that warlord tree and he's goths. So you put him in the transport and then boom, you've got what. You throw eighteen beast snagger boys in with him. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Like that's in. That's better than the gas. Yeah. He's strength nine minus three AP two damage. The war boss and mega armor. Yeah. And I'm and. Yeah, I mean, I would say that's better than the gas version. That is amazing. If you if you were goths, that's the thing. If you were goths. Yeah. But I mean, goths is competitively goths is the winner here, isn't it? Really. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely on that in that regard. I still have a shout for snake bites competitively, um, but again, I, I agree. Like I, I, I mean, I just love that golf stratagem. What is it? The, uh, you know, the you can explode your hits now on a plus five with the two. Is it two CP? Yeah. Like whether it's a boy or um, a war boss, like that's yeah. so useful. I could really um, help. <laughs> I, I, I just think like any of these three, like we're talking about, where it's a beast boss, a war boss. Um, or the war boss and mega armor, you can you can kit them out now. Like they they're so killy. Um, and I, it's like the beast boss, whether it's on a squig or just normal, um, you can give it the the weapon we were just sort of talking about. There, it's head whoppers kill chopper from the relics, which can go on to um, a beast chopper, big chopper, or huge chopper, which is the one that the mech. Um, the mega armor war guy, boss, yeah. yeah, has the mega armor war boss, yeah. 
um, which was times two strength, minus three AP, damage three, damage two, sorry. Damage two. And then its abilities, when you uh, score a six, you inflict one mortal wound. Yeah. Um, so that that is just insane. Um, so I, I think um, the two Beast Snagger Warlord traits that really stand out to me were the um, big killer boss where each time the Warlord fights, if it's against a vehicle or monster that's in within engagement range of it, you add two to the Warlord's attack characteristic. Yeah. And then when you make a melee attack against a vehicle or monster, you add one to the wound roll. That's so good on yeah. a beast boss on Squigurf. Um, or just the normal beast boss. I think the normal beast boss, its rules were a little disappointing to me because I love the model. And I was kind of hoping that its power claw would be times two, where it's not, it's plus four strength. Yeah. But I still think you can take that model if you really want to and you can give it like the the relic there and, and a stratagem like that. Or if you take the, the Squigoth model, um, you can take the Warlord trait where within six inches of the Warlord, any squig, squig unit can add one to the attack's damage characteristic of nice. its its attack, the squig's attack. That's pretty good. That's nice. Though. Um, so I think I think in all, like you've just got some really nice combos there. And I mean, we haven't really talked about the stratagems. Like, are there any stratagems you can see on units that you just want to mention? Oh well, stratagem definitely like the one where if your vehicle blows up. You pay one CP or two CP, depending if it's um, a wagon or Titanic model. Yeah, that looks good. And it's a free six-inch move. Um, so it means like you blow. If let's just say you're just a little bit out of reach when you've exploded, you just move it six inches forward. There you go. Now you now you're hurting the enemy. Yeah. Yeah, so, that's good. But the problem with that is, I, I looked at most of the old vehicles. A lot of them don't seem to explode easier. Yeah. They're just still sixes, so. I felt if only the orcs exploded a little bit more on yeah. like a five plus or something. Then. I, I really like the get stuck in lads, the one for boys or be snagger boys where they get an additional three inch pile in nice. um, and consolidate as well. Because I mean, if, if you charge something and there's a lot of models there, getting a six inch pile in is, yeah. is actually, if you're clever with it, that's really good. Yeah. It is a little, no I don't think they've got the can attack again now. Do they? But I don't think so. I mean, they hit so hard now that I don't think they need it. Yeah, they're, they're pretty sick though. Still, like boys are just like despite how good the beast snagger boys are, I still I still like the boys. Still, yeah, so cheap as chips. You quite like the terrain pieces now as well. Like the mech shop, you think's got better, isn't it? And yeah, and yeah, big head boss bunker. Like the the mech the the mech boy workshop was just never worth taking. I think. Because of what it did, it caused your vehicles to like get an, get a cool ability, but you had to not do anything for a turn. Yeah. I think, so like it made like the goal cannot have an extra six shots or something. I what, can't remember exactly. What does it do now? The mech shop. Um, it does loads. It, it gives out like light cover. I think it gives light and heavy cover. Um, it causes an extra wound to be healed by the mech boy. Right. Well, well depending on which. Is it how many is. points is it? It's seventy five, I think, or oh, seventy. It's not too bad and it also allows your whole army to like basically take two of the same and uh, what they called now um custom jobs right okay yeah because custom jobs are really good for vehicles but you can only take one now for a model like um i think it used to be a whole unit could have a custom job yeah um but now it's just one model and that custom job is just like one per army, but yeah. if you take this Met Boy Workshop for 70 points, you can take the same one twice. Right, okay. And some yeah. of them are like really worth taking. You say it gives cover as well? Um, yeah, like it, it's, it's a piece of terrain. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah, It doesn't have any health as well, so people can't shoot at it. It's not bad. So you sit it on an objective. Yeah, put it on an objective, put your boys in it. 20 boys got, in it. You've got heavy and light cover. Yeah. That's, I didn't think of that. <laughs> and for, for the points alone, having that cover might even be worth it just for the 70 points yeah. before you even add on all the special rules yeah, it's getting. Gives you light cover, heavy cover. Heavy, heavy's minus one, isn't it, or something? Yeah. So, 
That's pretty decent. So what about the the big boss head bunker? Oh, I love that. <laughs> is it is that actually good? I mean, in my opinion, for 75 points, it's quite tough. It's toughness 8. Right, it's got yeah. ramshackle as well, so it's minus in one damage. Yeah. It's got 12 wounds, so it couldn't get killed by two last cannon shots. Yeah. Um, and the guns it can give. I think for an extra... You can pay for an extra 15 points, you can give it another three big shooters. Right, So yeah. it's got... So what's on it? Four four big shooters and then the eye, the eye thing that's yeah, like an Gaze anti-tank? Of Gork, Gaze of Gork, yeah. Um, Gaze of Gork's got two profiles. Yep. 18 inches for the for squinting, heavy one. Strength nine, minus four AP, free damage. Yeah. And it auto hits. Um, you just pretty much... You've got to pick a, you've got to pick a target within 18. Yeah. And you draw a line to it. Right. And any unit hit underneath that line as well gets hit. You okay. just got to roll for each one separately to wound. So it's an auto hitting last cannon. What's the range on, on it? Um, 18 inches. It's right. pretty short. Yeah. The other one is glare. That's heavy D6. That's 24 inches. Yeah. And in that you pick a point. It's got blast as well, I forgot to say. Strength 5, AP minus 1, 1 damage. So it's yeah. more of an infantry killer. But you pick a point and any unit within 3 inches of it, you roll for each one. To right. To attack them. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's like a little grenade launcher. So it's not too bad, really. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, and, and it can take ten. It can hold 10 boys in it as well. Good. 10 infantry models. I think it's time to talk about our favourite picks yeah. from the book. <laughs> so, just before we get into the, the top five, we've got a couple of honourable mentions that didn't make the cut. And we've already talked a little bit about two of those. Um, but the three are, we've got the Pain Boss... Yep. We've got Gazgul Fracker. Yep. And we've got the knob on Smasher Squig. Yeah. Um, they all look strong. They all look like they can do things. Gaz, I mean, Gaz hasn't really changed. Yeah. I think he's still an in- insane model to take. Yeah. But he's balanced for his points. He's, he's very costly, but he's very strong. <laughs> the knob on Smasher Squig is a beautiful model, and I like its rules. And it's also got a really cool stratagem where after it's done its charge move, it can charge again another unit that's close to it. Yeah. And it can dish out mortal wounds doing that. So I think that, again, is a really strong choice with the Squig Hog boys. Yeah. Um, right, we'll get into number five. So number five is the War Bikers. Oh, okay. That's definitely not my choice, but... <laughs> <laughs> why, is it not, why is it not your choice? I don't know, then? just... Um, toughness five. I thought it would have just gone up for toughness because it's. They should have gone up for toughness because bikes. You know what? It's the same with death copters. Um, both bikes and death copters should be toughness six because yeah, boys yeah. toughness five, but they haven't done that, which is a little bit odd. But I guess it keeps them cheaper. Yeah. Um, they are fast though. Fourteen inches. Yeah, fourteen inches, and then you, your advancing is always six. Obviously, you're going to lose the shooting the shots on it. But the shots are amazing, like range 18, DAC of 5 slash 3. Yeah, plus you got two of them. How much did you say? So I'm... within 9 inches, you're getting 10 shots. Yeah. And then... What do you mean? Wait, 9 inches, 10 shots? You mean 9 nine inches is 5 shots? No, because there's 2. Oh, they've got 2 of them? They've got 2, yeah. Oh my God, I didn't realise that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why... That's why they. That's why I think they they're amazing at oh, shooting. Oh yeah, they got two duckle plus, guns. Plus they've always got the minus one to hit as well. That's why they're number five, Ben. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> that is quite a lot of shots, to be fair. Um, how many points did you say if you took a full squad? A full squad was. It's nine nine more bikes. I'm pretty sure it was like it was it was pretty cheap. Oh, did you say you said um, did you say six bikers actually to me? Yeah, you said before six bikers can dish out with Dakinal like an insane amount of shots. Sixty and shots. I imagine three can to be honest. I mean I think if you if you want in horde killers, I I'm, I think there's a, a shout that Evil Sons have taken a bit of a hit in this edition. Yeah. They're not as strong as they were, and I think a lot of players will look at the fact that they've lost a lot of assault weapons. Yeah. But I think when you break it down, you said to me before with the bikes, they move fourteen and don't they get they nice get touch. added movement, don't yeah, they? Because so 15, they're evil sons. Yeah. So is that is it plus two for a, a speed freak? Oh yeah. So they move sixteen inches as evil sons. You don't need to flat them out every time no. to shoot your DACA weapons. They move sixteen inches. That's that's insane. Yeah. Plus like, there's some re- there's a really nice stratagem, more DACA. DACA weapons count as half range. Oh yeah. So you can you can shoot full range with them. Oh my god. And yeah. then you can also 
you can also um if they're kind of bad moons for example you get plus six inch range don't you oh yeah so they would be 30 inch range and they have on six is minus one ap i think so like those combats combo together bad moons would be bad moons are, are good for yeah for shooty armies um, that's really good for and war they bikers would, and they would really work well for war bikers um, if you have a full 10 man squad that's 100 shots yeah it's a hell of a lot of shots um <laughs> and the f- the free booters again we've already been over that they would help they would help it and then they're even good in combat because you can give them a chopper for free <coughs> yeah um the the giving them a chopper is always free so you might as well do it because they're going to get plus one yeah. attack from You'd it. Never as well. give them the slugger. The slugger's a pistol. Why would you take that over the Daka weapon? Yeah, there's there's no point. Um, yeah. But and then you you combo that with the the speed war as well and the oh war. yeah. So the bikes, you know, you can. There's a lot of stratagems um, to help them out. There's a lot of clans that would really help them. Yeah. Um, and then you put war on top of that. You're gonna get. They're gonna be like putting out an insane amount of shots yeah covering a large distance and doing a lot of damage and they're incredibly tough unfortunately yeah. they're not tough in six but i think that keeps their points down yeah so i'm okay with that yeah, but yeah. And toughness five is more than good enough for a bike character yeah a, a bike true. unit sorry yeah, it's, so it's average in it with that's why else. yeah they're one of the best i think yeah and then our number four so that was number five war bikers our number four is buggies in general I think have massively improved. Yeah. Um, specifically, what was the one we were talking about, Ben? Oh, the one I really liked was the um, Rucker Truck Squig Buggies. Yeah. Because um, you could like pay. Um, it's how many points was it? I think it was ninety points or something like that. Um, and it's got quite a lot of shots. So it's got an assault two d six weapon, an assault d six weapon with that's half its range, but they're both. Strength 5, AP minus 2, 2 damage, blast. And if you gave them Nitro Squigs, don't, the, I think speci- I think it's both those get plus 1 to wound. Yeah, so and are they, is that a 15 point upgrade? A 25 point 25 upgrade, point, so it'd be sorry. 115 point for it. Still cheap. Yeah. Um, it, feel, it feels like they've, they've taken all the buggies and thought let's make all of these marine killers and chaos marine yeah. killers yeah. let's let's have them be anti two wound armies yeah and they and they mean that's what they've done they're all incredible yeah because because with the squig buggy as well it's got a grot gunner that and it had plus one to hit for the heavy squig launcher which is a assault 2d6 36 inch range so you've got um if you were shooting primaris marines with this it's assault two d six hitting on fours, which is good for orcs, <laughs> and strength and wounding on twos. Yeah, and it's minus two AP, two damage. Yeah, you're definitely going to kill a fair few marines with that. And again, everything, all the bonuses we said, and all the synergies for war bikers also apply to all of these. Oh yeah. So like everything we've just said for war bikers will work just as well for these buggies. And what was it? Bad moons increases range. Yeah. Plus oh six my inches. god! So yeah, yeah, this would be like. 42 inch range gun yeah <laughs> and i think as well the boom dacker snaz wagons really improved and I, I i've always loved that model um but it's is it mech special gun um it used to be assault nine i want to say oh yeah and it's, it's gone to dacker now is it what's it now dacker 14 slash 10 so good and it's gone up to two damage as well like we were just saying it, it's it's designed now not just as a horde it was classed as a horde killer that one Whereas now it's going to just rinse um, Primaris. I think it's as good a gun now as what the um, the hot rod style um, boogie has. Yeah. Um, you know that's damage too. There's a lot of damage too on these. I just think they all look good, and I think you've got your anti vehicle ones um, with the Mega Track scrap jet. You mean the shock tra- track stuff? And that one as well. That one's good at anti tank. Yeah. You know that that's got. It hits on a free, doesn't it? And that's still assault. So for an evil sons, that's insane. Oh yeah, it's on freeze and it's damage D six. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not half bad. That. I think that that more DACA stratagem. Can you just check actually, Ben, if it's for unit or it's army wide? Because it's two CP, and I feel like with it being that price, it might be. Well, you never know. It could be army wide because if it's army wide, and you, you 
you've got synergies with these buggies and war bikes, then the shooting you're going to put out. I mean, ballistic skill five, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, you have to, yeah, it's, it's the unit. It's when the an unit. orcs unit from your army is selected to shoot until the end of the phase, DAC weapons that unit is equipped with are considered to be ha within half range. Okay, so maybe that's less worth it with buggies because you just get in one unit, but they are quite shooty anyway, so you could do it. I think it'd be way more useful on war bikers where you've got nine, yeah. nine of them, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's, there's definitely stuff worth taking, though, if you ever did that. With them. Yeah, no, I think they all look good, and and like you said, they've got like the different, the different clans you can pick for these. It's not just evil sons, you know. I think Bad Moons has got a bit of hate online for for their new. Oh really? Yeah, I I, I think people don't feel they're as strong as as they've been, but I, I think you can do quite a lot with them. Moving on, number three, it's the new character model for Beast Snaggers, Mozrog. Scrag bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, this guy has had a lot of talk I've seen before we get to the codex today. I've seen on the leaks, like, people think he's a bit broken. Um, just talking about the model, I think out of this, this is the nicest model they've made. Yeah, it's it's one, it's like a display case model. It's just like, it's just beautiful. And his tattoos as well. Oh, I don't the, guy really want... the guy who painted his tattoos. Yeah, I know oh. you guys have like already talked, spoke about this in like a previous one, but. He's he's honestly like the best looking orc model they've done. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I think as well. This is for ninth, possibly the new Lord Discordant. Yeah, the, the orc equivalent. Yeah. The only difference is is that you can only take one of him. You can take Beast Boss on Squiggle, but you have to take it um, in another detachment. But just just talking about him, just quickly, like his rules are just insane. I think a lot of people will know his rules. I mean, he's, he's got a good amount of attacks. He's only nine wounds, so he, he doesn't suffer from um, you know, being out in the... Uh, oh, you know, yeah. When he's around <laughs> other models, he can, he can use the character rule. His squiggle just dishes out an insane amount of mortal wounds. And to top that all off, if you take him as your warlord, he's got a warlord trait where when he's destroyed, you can roll a d6 at the end of the phase... Um, if you do so, then on a four plus, you set the warlord back up on the battlefield within engagement range of any models, and he within. has d3 moons remaining. <laughs> so, and he's got a minus, uh, you know, every time he loses a wound, he's got a minus on the damage, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. minus one damage. So, I just think he's an auto pick if you take four snake plus bites. Invulnerable. Yeah, he's just so good. Do you have to take him in a snake bite army? In a snake bite clan. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you, you should take him. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't take him in, in Goths. I mean, imagine oh. if he was in Goths with that, like, <laughs> stratagem where it's plus five. Yeah, I was going to say, because Gaz can go in any can't he? But this guy can't. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think Zogrod you can you can take in another, um, possibly. But yeah, I, I just think he looks strong. And I think if you really want to know about how broken he is, there's a lot of videos on him right now. <laughs> um. So yeah... That was number three. Number two, kill rig. Everyone's everyone's talking about the kill rig yeah, yeah. at the minute. What it's capable of. It puts out. I mean, it can do so many things. It's kind of like <laughs> it's a vehicle. It's a psyker. Yeah, it's it's Fast. a bit. It's a bit of everything. It's it's kind of like um, it's a psycho the vehicle. Silent, it's kind of like the Silent King, where you've got this long list of shit it can do, and then every time you're using it in a fight, you're just gonna have to like read down <laughs> and then do things one by one because there's so many things you'll probably forget yeah um I but i think the the reason one of the main reasons this is so good is the fact they can tie down monsters and and titanics and yeah. stop them from um moving away from you yeah like if, if you're about like one monster you'd just be pointing out like you i'm going for that yeah one. going for that bad boy yeah, especially if I mean, if if you're playing against Imperial Knights now, you you might want to take a Gore Knot more Knot Stomper combo, and then a couple of these just yeah. just to annoy the hell out of them. But they do an insane amount of attacks uh, in combat, don't they? They've got yeah. loads of shooting, and then on top of that, you've got the Werboy just dishing out mortal wounds and and potentially doing psychic powers. I I think it's an auto take. I mean, I you don't have to take it, but I think it's the sort of model if you take a couple of like you're gonna be a pain in the ass to your opponent yeah you can always load it you can, it says that you can load it with beast snagger infantry models you just load that up as a precaution in case it gets destroyed you got beast snagger boys just to come out and you know 
find out. <laughs> which, which version would you go for? Because obviously there's the killer rig and there's the hunter rig. I do like the hunter rig. I just yeah, love the look of it. The, is that because of the transport capacity? Yeah, 15 yeah. models. But the kill rig obviously has psychic powers o- over that. Yeah, I personally prefer the hunter rig just for the look. I mean, yeah. I know I know, obviously the, the, the word boy and all it, all it does, but I just like the look of not having so much on the model. Yeah. And I just like a dedicated transport. I, I think if... In the game, I'll be interested to see how they get on because I think a lot of people will just naturally target those kill rigs yeah, yeah. straight away. They look so good. They look like, just like out of Mad Max Fury Road. And at number one, we all kind of settled on this quite quickly, didn't we? Yeah, and yeah. And I, I think a lot of people would, would have thought the kill rig would be at number one, but we've put the Beast Snagger boys at number one. Um, since I started in 40K, I think any orc list I've ever seen... and. I got in sort of the end of six, mainly when seventh started. Um, I, I know from talking to people like back in before fifth, when when orcs were strong as well. Like boys have always been a mainstay of an orcs army. They're the kind of core, they're the, yeah. the thing you put in first and build your army around. And boys have come out really well out of this codex. I think they look as good as they've they've looked for a long time. Yeah. But on top of that, the beast snagger boys now they're just orcs on steroids and. They just look insane. The, the the things they can do, the amount of attacks they get, at the strength five naturally, they're so good. They basically are now what knobs used to be. You know, they're the strength five, and then you've you've got the bonuses of the the chopper being minus one AP. Yeah, like we went over a lot of the stuff earlier, but like the goths synergies, and it's just they're just. I mean, you you pretty much got to include them. Yeah, they're like your vanguard for your orcs because yeah. you want your boys to be back at the back now on objectives and these beast snagger boys just running up just. And they benefit from so many different stratagems. And and saying that, you know, I, I think snake bites, they look great. Snake bites with what they can do, um, you know, with the one to three fails on a strength seven lower weapon. Yeah. But if you take them as goths, you can make, you can use stratagems that basically give you that ability. Yeah. They get plus one against vehicles. I, they just look so good. They just look like they're gonna eat away at any kind of troop choice, and they're low. They're, they're eleven points. That's quite cheap, especially compared to like a Primaris Marine. Yeah. I, I just they're gonna they're gonna destroy. They're gonna mulch him. Yeah. Plus the the boss knob. Um, he has a power snapper. He has. Yeah. Is that times two? No. Um, it's plus two. It's plus two. So you so you're getting strength seven out of it. Yeah, but I mean, if he's and if he's goths on the charge, it's strength eight. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> two plus two wound. You know, most infantry minus two AP, two damage. It's going to kill yeah, primaries. Yeah. <laughs> so and, uh, the I guess the one bonus of of the normal boys over these is you are getting a max squad capacity of thirty, while these are capped at twenty, aren't yeah. they? Plus, I don't think that'll come into it too much. But you could like set your boys up to be more shooty then. Yeah. So we we were talking the idea of having two max size B Snagger boys pushing up the board, and then you've got your your orcs, your orc boys, your normal orc boys, just because they're a bit cheaper. They just sit on an objective. With shooters and with just, shooters. Because they're gonna have a hell of a lot of attacks anyway for thirty boys. Yeah. You may as well just and, shoot. And if you need more shots, you just throw in that more DACA stratagem and yeah. <laughs> suddenly suddenly 30 boys are shooting 90 shots. Call a war as well. Yeah. E- easy. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they're the clear winners in this because it's just one of the strongest troops in the game. I mean... Yeah, troop, yeah the troops as well. It's, hard, it's easy to forget that. They're just yeah. troops. <laughs> I think competitive-wise, you're going to see these maxed out and then, like, Gaz in a vehicle, I imagine. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely doing that. And maybe, like, two Hunter Rigs, three Hunter Rigs just moving up. Because the Hunter Rig max capacity is 20, is it? Um, the, is the Hunter Rig. It? Sorry, the yeah, the one with the... Or is it the Killer Rig? Uh, the, the Hunter Rig is 15. Oh, is it? And the Kill Rig's 10. So you can never take a full squad of... No, but 15... 15 right, is well, still... then I, I guess you'd probably go two squads of 15 in two rigs. Yeah. And that would be really powerful. Use and Gaz in a battle wagon. Just like speeding up with them. Speeding up and then maybe 
two squads of boys sitting on objectives at the back in a mech shop, maybe. Yeah, it's definitely it's stuck for choice, aren't you? When shooting them. Yeah. No, I, I think you're right there, Scott. Like you, you can you can put. I mean, even just ten boys in the kill rig. You know, the snake bite boys just popping out. Hello. Yeah. You know, and I, I think you won't see a lot of like. I don't think you'll be seeing green tide. I, th- I think some people want to do it, but yes, it's not competitive <laughs> to go, oh, I'm going to take 120 boys now. I think you might have smaller unit sizes of them or you might go for 20 at most. Well, you could, uh, it would be beast snagger tide now. The thing though with boys, That's though, boys aren't limited though. They're not limited like beast everything else. Tide. <laughs> so you could have, um, what's the what's in a battalion, the max troop choice? Is it five? S- six? Yeah, six, I think. So imagine six times 30 boys. No one's going to have enough shooting to take them all out. I, like what I heard in Ave, sorry about this, but um, the the list tend to be was just, I, what I heard in competitiveness is just Gaz and a hell of a lot of boys. Yeah. Because, and, and, but and back then you could deep strike the boy, um, Gaz. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I think overall um, there's a lot of strong units. I mean, we talked about the new war boss in Mega Armor. Yeah. Um, I think for some people that could easily be on here. Yeah. Like I, I just, <laughs> I just think that looks like a solid choice. And I, I, what I'm happy about is, you know, you read orc books and they all challenge the war bosses constantly. Yeah. And Gaz is a war boss that's been around for a long time, and he should have models that you can take that you feel can challenge him at least. You might not yeah. beat him, but you can, you can go. Do you know what? I can worry you a little bit yeah yeah definitely. Uh, and they have that now and i just think overall it's a brilliant book i really can't wait for it to be out for not just the people that managed to collect the beast snagger box yeah um yeah it feels like every codex so far has has been more overpowered than the last but this doesn't really feel like that it just feels about right yeah um it's, it's buffed the army it's buffed it but it's buffed it to the level of everything else it's not overtaking it and it feels like every codex so far has overtaken the power yeah the power level if you know we've had that being the last one i've heard yeah um because there there i mean not everything is incredible some of it it's all good but none of it's like i wouldn't say anything's overpowered that's what i like about this codex yeah like looking through it nothing seems there's a lot of really nice synergies with stuff but they usually require input of like two command points yeah or something supporting something so you're paying you're paying for it somewhere and there's not anything that's like super overpowered. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a great book. Yeah. Hobby update. How are we all getting on? I've actually painted some Blood Angels this week. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've sprayed. Um, oh, you sprayed. I've sprayed, yeah. I'm not painting anything, I've sprayed. <laughs> I've sprayed my Malignant Playcaster for Death Guard and two more. Um, Blight Lord Terminators. Nice. Because uh, hopefully, me and James are going to have a game where it's going to be Blood Angels versus Death Guard. Yeah. Maybe 2,000 points or 1,750. Um, and I just need to finish a few things. And I think James needs to finish a few things as well. I need to finish a lot. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, I'm going to. I've got a lot of old school Blood Angels that I'll probably still use. And hopefully, I should have quite a bit done this weekend i'm gonna i'm gonna do quite a bit on saturday yeah uh today um after this but yeah what about you ben um i'm hoping to build all these beast snagger stuff can't wait to build all these and paint and finish painting my burner bombers as well because i really want to give them a whirl what um what's like what do you want to go against first with your beast snagger boys orcs more orcs you want to <laughs> no, fight more no. um i would like to fight against anyone who's like got mortal enemies with orcs really so yeah. maybe in space wolves or yeah yeah i'm sure he's like frothing at the mouth now at that yeah um or um maybe far sight enclaves because they've got rules that also a little a few rules to fight orcs yeah yeah so i don't mind doing that um yeah what is just very quickly what would be your first list look like um it's got to have gas in it. <laughs> I think that's a given. Um, my first list is pretty much stuff what I've painted. So a fair few boys. My one of my uh, my Morkin up maybe. If I could get my Stomper painted, maybe have that in it. Um, I definitely want to give the Waz Bomb Blaster Jet a try since that's gone up. And definitely like the Squig Og boys and the and the Knob on Smasher Squig. Definitely want to give them a try. 
I'll say now, I will challenge you. <laughs> Blood Angels, do not fear the, the orcs. <laughs> Fight off against them. Yeah. One thing I've I've stuck recently is two of the um, heavy uh, destroyers for Necrons, but but not with the anti tank gun, with the anti infantry gun. Oh, okay. And I've st- I've stuck them with orcs in mind, <laughs> thinking like I actually think people don't rate them very high, but I actually think that against orcs with not a good save and the strength yeah. seven minus one AP, I feel like it would they would them. actually be quite good against orcs. So it'd be good to put them in a list where they'd actually do something interesting because yeah. I think they're very situational units and you have to only take them when you're fighting mob type armies. Yeah. Well, I think what everyone's standard now is for weapon profiles is Marines in mind. Uh, I think that's just everyone standing, not realizing you don't always have to play against Marines. So yeah, I definitely think those guns would be definitely good against my orcs. Yeah, definitely, brilliant. Yeah. Um, orcs, they're here. <laughs> they're here to stay. <laughs> um, I can't wait to see them on the board. I can't wait to play against them. Can't I might even get models. a couple of models myself. What about you? You're gonna get some Scott Jacken. Yeah, I mean we've we've seen the leaks of the Combat Patrol. And it looks very good, actually. Um, so what I would might, you do, Maz? I might be tempted. I don't know. I, I really don't know. You sound like I, just, really... I just know that it would Goss. be. <laughs> yeah, a goss is the obvious choice. Baboons. You sound like you really like the baboons. A, I quite like the idea of a more shooty. Uh, but yellow. Yeah. You're already doing a yellow army. I'm already army. doing a yellow army <laughs> with imperial fists. I don't need. A, I don't need another. <laughs> but um, I love the idea of um, getting beast snagger boys and doing the squigs like in completely different colors yeah yeah like just different breeds of it just odd colors you know what i mean because seeing that white squig the great white squig after seeing that it's like you know what you can do any like random luminescent color and it's going to look mint should, and it's going to fit for orcs you should try and get a beast snagger like rider and just have him on a c3 you know the little holding bases and just yeah. say the squig is riding it's purple <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't see the squig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now there's loads you can do with it. Yeah, brilliant. Well, let us know what orc models you're looking forward to getting. What your top five picks are in the yeah. comments below. Let's see other people's suggestions. Yeah, let us know if there are any cool combos that you found. And uh, yeah, it's been great, great hanging out with you guys today, chatting about all this new orcs. I can't wait to see more and learn more about this new codex. Yeah. I'll catch you guys later. See ya. See you later. See you later, mum. <laughs>